Well, we all like to explore, move around, be mobile, but there's a number of things that can slowly make that more difficult, like aging, injuries, and various medical conditions. So we thought we'd stop by Carl Hager Limb Embrace to find out how they're helping people be more active and move with confidence. When do you actually come to the clinic to see you? With every ache and pain, or how do you know when it's gonna be pretty serious when you should come in? Uh, we specialize in uh, lower extremity bracing. Uh, you talk about knee bracing, people have had a ligament injury either from a work incident or from a sporting activity. Uh, sometimes it's just general wear and tear. Braces, we have many to choose yes. from here. A lot of them made right in-house. When we say it's custom, it is all, all custom made. Uh, we have our 4,500 square foot clinic, and then on our second floor, we have our laboratory where everything is made. We have a cast, or we can use a 3D scan uh, of that person's limb, and then upstairs is where all the manufacturing takes place. It gives us the opportunity to customize a fit of a device as well. So this is pretty much from foot to toe, really, from yeah. foot all the way up, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, kind of a silly term, I say from your toes to your nose and, and everything in between. There's a wide range of things we do, everything from custom-made um, to off-the-shelf devices, from uh, as young as just a few months old, similar to these, these club foot boots down here, okay. um, all the way up to somebody with osteoarthritis who could be up to 100 years old. So it is quite a range in terms of what we do here. When you're talking about custom fit, what is the process to get one made for you? Uh, for a completely custom-made brace, it uh, does involve an assessment to figure out you know, what are we doing, um, what are the goals of the patient, and what do we have to accomplish for them. Okay. Uh, we also have to take a mold of the patient then, and so that, that brace is made directly to that mold of the patient, so it'll only really fit them and nobody else. Um, and we do all the manufacturing in our lab above us here as well. So everything's done here in Edmonton. Um, and then we have the patient coming back to do a fitting for the brace as well. So that way they're familiar with how it goes on, how it works, and they can come back for adjustments as needed as well. I want you to just relax your leg. Arthritis is a huge problem for mm. many of us. So how do you know you're living with it and you can do something about it? A lot of it with arthritis, it comes down to pain. And so a lot of people have had injuries in the past. Um, but with arthritis, a lot of it is that, that pain's coming on slowly over time. So they're waking up in the morning, they feel stiffness, they get pain developing through the day. Um, and it's just that pain that's not really going away. Um, and so you know what we want to do is make sure we can create something for them to help reduce that pain, keep people active and up and moving. So how does a brace help with that then? Uh, a lot of the times, if it's for the knee, um, basically what we're trying to do is help to realign the leg. So as we get arthritis, our leg will tend to change in terms of how it moves and so we can stabilize things in one position, maybe push the knee in a direction that helps to, to open up the, the space where the bones are, are touching too much, where the cartilage is worn out. Uh, that can help to reduce and alleviate the pain. How do you keep our bones and joints healthy? Any tips for that, Kevin? So maybe we don't have to wear one of these? One of the biggest things is just staying active. You know, the, the fitter and more active we can be, um, you know, the longer our, our bones and joints will last. Um, and so yeah, just staying up and moving and staying strong and keeping our weight down, that really helps to, uh, to slow down that arthritic process.